students welcome to our channel easy explanation in this tutorial i will be talking about how to generate full pyramid of a star as given in this diagram so we will be learning about this concept so let us start the tutorial so i will be using vs code uh, to edit the or to write the code as well as there is a gcc compiler installed in my terminal so i'll be using that to compile the code so i'll be creating a text file node.txt here i'll be writing the simple instruction that will be using to explain the code here so you can see uh, this is the pyramid of star so in order to generate some type of pyramid of a star what we have to do is we have to we need to have the concept of nested loop so the first point that we need to understand is in order to generate the pattern structure we need to understand the concept of nested loop okay so how does nested loop works let us say i have a one outer loop for i equals to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus and another loop inside that so for j equals to 0 j less than 3 j plus plus print f percentage d j equals to percentage d j ntf slash new line printf i equals to percentage d i so please execute the code let us understand this nested loop by executing one code here by executing this given code so test underscore nested dot c i'll be creating a text file program to understand the concept of nested loop so has include tdio dot h int main then int ij for the loop controlling variable and i'll be using this same nested loop okay so you should always format your code while writing it it should look good at least okay so this one this one is the outer loop and these are the block of outer loop okay so this is the block of outer loop that will be executed when this condition evaluates to true okay so these are the statement that will be evaluated when this con this condition evaluates to true so we'll be executing this set of a statement every time this condition evaluates to true now since here you can see here there is one more loop inside this outer loop so this loop is called as a inner loop this loop is called as the inner loop and this loop is called as the outer loop now for every value of this outer loop this inner loop will be executed how many times for until the value of j less than 3 become false so that many times the loop will be executed so when you execute the loop you will see the output something like this So 
so I'll be using GCC compiler so test underscore nested from the terminal nest test underscore nest it is net set dot c so gcc compiler i have compiled this file and then i'll be executed by using dot slash a dot out so you can see for every value of i i am running the inner loop how many times three times for every value of i i am running the inner loop three times okay so the outer loop will be executed how many times one two three four five times outer loop will be executed five times and for every value of the outer loop your inner loop will be executed how many times three times okay so in this way you can understand the concept of nested loop and by using the concept of nested loop you can generate the pyramid as shown here now let us understand this like how to generate this pyramid pyramid pattern so you can see how many row we have one two three four five so number of row okay so number of row in pyramid is dependent upon outer loop so you have to take care you have to understand that while generating the pattern number of row is determined by the outer loop so in this case how many outer loop how many uh, outer loop we require or how many rows you require one two three four five so we need to have an outer loop that should be executed how many times five times okay so you should write outer loop in such a way that it will be executed how many times five times now for every value of outer loop uh, for every value of outer loop how many times inner loop will be executed so if the row number is one then inner loop will be executed how many times one time if row number is two then it is executing inner loop is executed how many times three times similarly five times seven times and nine times okay so it is increasing in which order in the order of odd number so one three five seven nine so you need to execute the inner loop in such a way that when the loop is executed inner loop is executed for the first time it is executed how many times one times and when the inner loop is executed for the second time it is executed how many times three times so one plus 2 equals to 3, 3 plus 2 equals to 5, 5 plus 2 equals to 7, 7 plus 2 equals to 9. So we have to maintain this scenario. So for the first value of outer loop, inner loop will be executed one time. For the second value of outer loop, inner loop should be executed how many times? Three times. And for the third value of outer loop, inner loop should be executed five times. And for the fourth value of outer loop, inner loop should be executed how many times? Seven times. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and for the fifth value of the outer loop, inner loop should be executed how many times? 9 times. Okay. So you can write something like this. So the number of star to print is dependent upon the inner loop okay so for row number one i let us say this is row number one row number two row number three row number four and row number five for row number one for the row number one a star is printed one times right now then for row number two star is printed three times similarly for three it is printed how many times five times for row number 4, it is printed how many times? 7 times. And for row number 5, it is printed how many times? 9 times. So you can see, there is an odd pattern. 
odd number pattern in inner loop and the outer loop is executed normally in the linear order so 1 2 3 4 and 5 so you can so you can see you know for every outer loop our inner loop is executed in the odd number fashion you know so for the first time it should be executed one time then three times then five times then seven times and then nine times so you have to write code to execute that and one more thing is here see in every row i know we have a star as well as a spaces right so in the first row how many space we need to print one two three four in the second row how many spaces are there one two three so in the first row number of space required is how much four space and one star three space and three star and then we have two space and five star one space and seven star and zero space and nine star so in every row we have in every row we have a space as well as a star so we have to take care of the spaces as well so let us write the code to execute that so pattern dot c so program to print pyramid pattern that include stdio.h for print of and scan up statement in main since you can see we have a two loop to be executed i and j let us say i and j are the variable to control the outer loop and inner loop and one is the row number how many row we required so let us say we'll accept the row number from the user so we need at least three variable right now so i will declare three variable printf will tell the user enter the number of row required okay so scan f percentage g and percent row for our this pattern we have how many rows required five re row required so we'll be you know, giving the value of row as five here so now let us write the loops okay so as you can see how many times the outer loop should be executed it should be executed how many times five times so one two three four five so outer loop should be executed five times that is dependent upon the number of row so for i equals to zero i less than five i plus plus okay now for every outer loop now for every outer loop we have to print spaces as well as a star right we have to print a space as well as a star so in the first row we have to print how many spaces four spaces right now so number of space four in the second row we have to print three spaces so spaces decreasing in linear fashion so i will declare one more variable to count number of spaces so space underscore count is one variable so we can declare something like a space underscore count is equals to row minus one okay so every time your space should be printed how many times a space count time so for j equals to zero j less than a space count j plus plus okay so for the first for the first time if the value of row is five your space count will be four so your, this loop this inner loop will be executed how many times four times from zero one two three okay so let us print the space print f spaces okay we'll be writing two space now after printing a space we need to print what we need to print a star in which fashion in order in odd number fashion so the first count of let us initialize the count of a star so star underscore count equals to one so the first value of a star count will be one then it should be increased in which fashion odd number of fashion so we'll be decreasing or sorry we'll be increasing the star count by two so now every time we need to decrease the space count as well so 
So for the first time, the value of space count is 4. So the space will be printed 4 times. In the second iteration, the value of space count will be 3 and space will be printed 3 times. Okay. Now let us write the code to print the star as well. Now for, I need one more variable, one more controlling loop control variable for another inner loop. Let us say k is the variable for k equals to 0, k less than what? Star count. Star count k plus plus then print star. Print f star and one more spaces. Okay. So after printing a space, uh, after printing a star, we will be printing one new line to go for the new line. So slash n and you can see how the star count should be executed, should be incremented, it should be incremented in odd order. So I have incremented by plus 2. So for the first value, star count will be 1 and in the second case, the star count will be 3. Okay. So it will be it will be uh, incremented by plus 2 which will be the sequence of odd number okay so let us summarize this code this outer loop will execute this set of statement how many times five times okay now for each of the row the space will be printed for the given space count values and after printing a space will be printing a star for the given star count values so in this way you can write the code to print the pyramid of a star. Let us execute the code and see what is the result we have got. If there is any mistake in the code, we will try to modify that as well. So, GCC pattern dot C dot slash a dot out. Let us check one more time if there is any mistake here. Number of rows required, I will write 5. Let us see the output. So you can see I have got the perfect output here. So 4 square, sorry, 4 spaces, 1 star, 3 spaces, 3 star, 2 spaces, 5 star, 1 space, 7 star, and 0 space, 9 star is there. So we have get we have got the perfect result as given in this diagram. Okay. So if you have any queries, please let me know in the com comment sections. Still then, bye bye everyone. Thank you.